we have the capability you can say mainly three types we are using the language verbal communication non verbal communication again non -verbal, non verbal communication having very wide role once we will understand about the like a speaking or body language that time it will be much much helpful but now we are we will focus on verbal communication non verbal communication visual communication like we will show some visuals during many of the presentations or something we are showing the visuals also we are generally telling the visual audio system or visual audio program means we are showing some visuals we are using the verbal communications we are showing the non verbal communication and combination of these three will make the very effective communications if you are not merging these three then what will happen you will not able to become an effective communicator you have to merge all three depends on the situation to situation like day to day if you are talking with the person or talking in the family or talking with the friends or talking the uh, talking in the office then always you can't you can't include all three type mainly we are depending on verbal and non verbal when it is required you can use the visual communication but 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 if a physical way you are not able to use the visual communication in your mind you must use in a imagination way if your imagination before speaking if it is coming in the in the form of images in your brain just well ahead minimum gap should be 10 second i am giving very scientific fact i am giving you very scientific fact before speaking if things are coming in uh, image uh, things are coming in the form of images in your brain and that flow of images are good you will become a good speaker if that flow of images are not good or not coherent or time lagging or more then many of the hurdles will come during your speaking and after every sentence maybe you will tell uh, 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 oh. why this image is not replying from your brain to mouth what you want to say that brain has not imagined or brain has not created the image brain must be create image well ahead of your speaking it is like a train engine must go ahead then back side body one by one one by one keep on move if engine is not moving engine is moving slow then what will happen it will topple then always you you use verbal non verbal visual communication if uh, physical way you are not using in your brain you must use and next this is another advanced communication is that that is telepathy now science also recognized but very old time in cn time indian philosophers are already recognized and it is having very good a spiritual uh, a spiritual communication like uh, if you have very very cool mind or you have very cool everything like you don't have any disturbance in your conscious mind then through subconscious mind you can communicate with any other person like narad muni any point of time narayan narayan kahi bhi prakat ho sakte immediate telepathy it is actual it is there but depends on our own preparation how much i can prepare ourselves to do the telepathic communication many of the time this is a, i think uh, i am not telling a, just a joke many of the stories you will read in your uh, uh, you will read in many of the books where this will be discussed about the telepathic communications like one person is loving one person other maybe relation will be anything maybe it will relation will be mother uh, mother or son maybe relation will be brother and brother or brother sister husband wife lover any other relation they are at two different geographical locations one person in trouble one person is in trouble another person are just very cool we are very deep mind he is praying for them and it will happen he will able to recognize that signal and that signal will work out you can say it is a just in the form of prayer okay but prayer we can scientifically defined but not telepathy is fully acceptable by scientific societies this is your development of human from very initial app type you can say like a monkey type slowly slowly it has come like a modern human what what are the biological differences that has come this we got one one biological advantage that is called voice box or you can say larynx then uh, earlier it was not much developed afterwards it has developed due to we are able to control 
on our thought, imagination, speaking, rate of speaking, volume of speaking, tonality, everything we are able to control because this is fully controlled by brain. Then this is our you can say evolutionary gift evolutionary gift once we are evolving from the animal stage to advanced human being we are keep on evolving and we are keep on developing this this type of biological things there are three types of communications verbal non-verbal and visual 